the Department of the Interior and Local Government will propose to the National IATF to waive the irrelevant documentary requirements for travelers amid community quarantines. Kenneth Torres reports. The Department of the Interior and Local Government, or DILG, is to craft new guidelines on common protocols for land, air, and sea travel, which can be implemented by the local government units. DILG Undersecretary Epemako Dinsing III said they will propose to waive the irrelevant documentary requirements, such as medical certificate and travel authority, and have it replaced with more stringent assessment for travelers from the port of origin and arrival. Meanwhile, Dinsing clarified the executive order issued by Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia, dropping the mandatory swab testing as one of the requirements for local tourists, does not violate protocols amid community quarantine. In a press conference in Medellin Town this afternoon, Garcia said she is just following the IATF guidelines. She said that before she issued an EO, she had consulted first to all sectors including the Department of Health, DILG and other government agencies. Under the Omni guidelines in the implementation of community quarantine in the Philippines, it is clear that protocols for non-authorized persons outside of residence or non apurs whether intra-travel or interzonal travel, will be subjected to reasonable regulations of the LGUs. Then Singh said that they will also discuss the removal of COVID-19 test requirement. He added that local leaders have different stand with regards to mandatory testing for travelers. Earlier this week, Garcia signed Executive Order 12, which sets easier rules for travel to Cebu province. Under EO 12, there are only three requirements. A valid medical certificate issued by a reputable doctor within seven days before the trip. Proof of pre-booking at a resort or a hotel where the tourist shall stay for the duration of the visit and passing the COVID-19 symptoms checking at points of departure and arrival. Garcia wants to revive the province's flagging tourism economy, which has been affected by lockdowns and lack of visitors. Kenneth Torres, Sunstar Tonight.